let's go check out this new Airbnb. Are there a lot of cool amenities there? Come on, Ben. Oh. They said they had live entertainment. I don't want anything to do with that tussle. Let's talk about some real outdoor amenities that can help your short-term rental, also known as an Airbnb. Flippin' Choice. What's going on everybody? It's Garrett from the Nice Flippin' Choice channel. Back again with another video about quantum physics. I'm just playing. You already saw the title. You know we're back with another video about glamping. And one thing about glamping is you gotta be outdoors for a good bit of it. And one thing about the outdoors, that it can get boring. Nearest places further than any Uber or Uber Eats would ever come. So what are some ways you're gonna make your guests happy while they're on the property and not really wanna leave? You gotta step it up outside, baby. Now I'm gonna start with the cheapest to the most expensive ways you can improve your property on the outdoor amenities. The first and cheapest way to do any type of improvement is to walk outside with your phone right now, look at that subscribe button, and hit it for me. There we are. Right. Right. <laughs> Let's continue on. First and cheapest way is to make sure you get some outdoor games. Cornhole or bean bags if you want to you know whatever you want to say i feel like i'm a professional cornhole player they're relatively cheap from 39 dollars to 59 dollars. you can also get disc golf cages they're pretty popular right now with the kids they say how do you do fellow kids and they're about 70 dollars. you can get all types of outdoor games maybe a dartboard no i wouldn't do horseshoes those sound kind of dangerous i've never done them either but there's quite a few different things you can look for and most of them are relatively inexpensive cheat code is look on facebook marketplace because there's probably some steals and deals. Number two is a hammock area. You can probably get one relatively low for $20 all the way up to $100 or $200. You know, it's your pick your poison here. Do you want to go cheaper and it breaks in about a month on you? Or do you want to go a little bit higher in and it probably doesn't break as quickly? I love nothing better than going lay on the hammock, bringing my book out there and not reading one page and falling asleep immediately. Bueno, I fell out a couple times too though, so be careful. Number three is a simple sitting area with some string lights around it. Depending on how high your grass is and different, you know, vegetation, vegetation around your place and things you have like that. <coughs> Whoa, hold on. Mmm. Mm, bing bong. You might have to put in a little bit of a gravel area. If not, it'll be cheaper just putting out a couple chairs, hanging some string lights around. If you gotta do solar ones or if you can get away with a plug, it's probably easier. This you can probably get away with between like 100 and 300 bucks and it's really nice for your guests. They'll just like to sit outside, maybe even provide them with a little bit of off or mosquito spray. Always thinking. Number four is a fire pit area. Now these can go rather low, about $300 all the way to 1500 or you know beyond if you want to with that. So I do have one that I put together not long ago, a smokeless DIY fire pit and gravel area. It was about eight to nine hundred dollars. I will link the video above, below. I don't think you can leak it on the sides, but you can check that out if you're interested in an idea of what it takes. Number five is a putting green. Now this is when we start to get a little on the bit on the pricier side with these things. You can get a relatively rudimentary one. I'm using some good big words today for about three to four, five hundred dollars, or you can go all the way up with a big company up to about five thousand, and you know to make it up to Tiger Woods standards, like he's gonna come play at any point. I have one that I did myself on my property that was about five hundred dollars. I'll put in the description as well, and I'm. About to work on round two right now and up the budget a little bit to about a thousand dollars hoping it comes out even better happy gilmore would be very proud number six the last one on the list and the most expensive but probably has an roi higher than snoop dogg at joe rogan's house and that is a hot tub with string lights around it now you can get one of the plug and play ones that are a little easier to manage they're, they're 110 volt but i will say there's been more issues with those than the ones that are the 240 volt that you probably need an electrician to install for you now the plug and play ones are cheaper but if i had a recommendation for just how much you're gonna have to mess with it go a little little bit more into this that way you get a little bit better brand and get one that is automatically plugged up you'll have more success rate with less guest complaints i promise i've had to refund guests because a plug and play wouldn't work at all one night for the whole stay it sucked so with that being said these are just a few of the ideas you can have in your outdoor amenities let me know in the comments below if i forgot any or if you want to hear more of them because there's plenty of them just tell me what you want <laughs> and i'll make another video maybe a part two appreciate you watching all the way to the end of the video see y'all next time peace